This is a Medicare Special Bulletin. Hi, I'm Carolyn Tamaka, your local Senior Health Plan Advisor. The Medicare annual enrollment period begins October 15th and ends December 7th. This is the only time that most people can change their Medicare health plan. Whether you come to one of our local meetings or we meet with you in the privacy of your own home, HRBC Insurance can help you find the right health plan for your needs. Call HRBC Insurance today. Medicare made simple. Well, that is the hope of you folks uh, looking at uh, all the Medicare plans that are out there, and they are ever increasing. And that's what HRBC Insurance hopes to bring to you, and they will. Medicare made simple. We have two folks from uh, HRBC today. We have uh, Carolyn Tomaka, correct? Yes. Did I pronounce that right? Good job. Yeah, and Edgar you. Barrera. You got it. And nice to meet uh, both of you. We're coming up on that stressful time for a lot of people where uh, the open enrollment is happening. And even those folks that are happy with their plans should always take a look at what's, change, what's gonna change. They always change. Every plan changes some form or another. Maybe it's a minor change. Maybe it's a major change to that person because the formulary change, the drugs that they need may not be in the, the right tier for them, so to speak. That's and that's where you folks can really help out to wade through. So um, it's important, right, Carolyn, for everybody to review their plan every single year. Absolutely. Every year we'd encourage people to review their uh, current health plan, but this year I think it's particularly mm -hmm. important with everything else going on. Um, some Medicare Advantage plans have changed their medical benefits, their hospital co-pays, and, of course, the prescription drug coverage. Each and every year it's so important to look at that. Yeah, and what we've also seen, Edgar, in this area, we've actually seen those uh, groups change. There has been uh, some of them that have merged together, for instance, um, uh, Mission Hospital and Hogue and things like that. So these, these groups have changed or formed, uh, formed an alliance together. Yeah. So people may either have more choices or less choice just depending what they currently have, correct? Um, yeah, I would say that. I mean, I think I've noticed that um, a lot of people haven't seen some of the options that are available mm -hmm. to them. Um, there's a lot of special need plans out there yes, for, there are. for yeah. diabetics, people with heart conditions, and um, a lot of these plans have more enhanced formularies, uh, medications that are covered 100%, where in their mm -hmm. previous plans they've paid higher co-payments or even fallen into the what everyone calls a donut hole, but technical yeah. term, the coverage gap. And a lot of people don't know that these, some of these options are available with the medical groups that they're with now. Right, and one of the things that you folks offer, Carolyn, is when people come in, one of the, you're going to sit down with them, and you're going to go through their needs, and it's it's a very specific need for each person. As Edgar just said, there are some special programs out there that uh, they may not know about for diabetics and heart conditions and things like that, that they can add on to maybe a plan that they currently have these special needs plans. But as we know, um, not, not every program out there, they're not forced to take these at this point in time, but this is where you guys can look at it and go, wow, you know, this, is, this would work for you. This is what we're looking at here. Absolutely. Because we have contracts with so many Medicare Advantage plans, we're able to really tailor fit it to the person. Mm -hmm. We're not having somebody come into the office and saying, well, this is the right plan for you. Mm -hmm. We really like to listen to the Medicare beneficiary. Tell us your doctor, tell us your prescriptions. Do you want vision? Do you want dental? Um, you know, there's a gym membership. There's so yeah. many things that are different about each plan that um, maybe somebody's diabetic and we'll be able to really go out and look at which plan would work best for that particular person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, and, and as I said, it's very confusing. I don't even know, Edgar, how many plans are out there now, but every <laughs> year it seems to grow, yeah. and there's many different uh, companies and health plans that are facilitating these. Yeah. And that alone, the type of network the person may want to get into. Maybe they're, they're looking at a, a plan but then choosing the right network and maybe they, they have a certain doctor that they really like, they've been going to before on their current plan, well, they want to know, is that doctor still going to be available to me if I switch a completely different plan uh, or a different network, correct? 
Yeah, and I would say that's kind of the benefit that we have as, as advisors is that we work with uh, virtually pretty much almost all the Medicare plans. So when we sit down with someone, the first question is obviously to check their doctor, their medications, um, the networks, mm -hmm. you know, very important. Um, some of the plans out there are provider specific, so they'll be on one network, but they won't be on the other. Maybe their primary care belongs to this medical group, but it doesn't belong to, okay. and the specialists don't belong to that one either. So uh, it's a little bit of coordination, and that's kind of what we do. We take out the headache of having to figure all that out on their own, uh, and we kind of do that for them um, to make sure that they find the plan that covers not only their medications at the lowest cost, but the benefits they want, and of course, all their providers. Right. And... Um you know, you, you talk about the, the different options out there, and Carolyn, sometimes you're going to have a couple come in, and their needs are totally different. Mm -hmm. And uh, it could be that just for the sake of convenience, over the last couple of years, they've stayed on the same, the same plan together. In other words, they both uh, signed up with the exact same service. But you might look at that and go, wait a minute. You know what? This is, is not working for the both of you. It might be working for you, but for you, there's much better plans out there that are gonna serve your needs. Absolutely, there is no reason to have a couple on the exact same plan unless it benefits both of them. Mm -hmm. um, one person may have um, some high tier diabetic medications while the other you know, really wants the gym membership and, and vision benefits. Mm -hmm. So one plan to another could be hundreds if not thousands of dollars difference. Uh, so as a couple, maybe it's convenient to have the same looking uh, Medicare card or medical uh, health plan card. So, um, but other than the uh, outside appearance, there's really no reason. It's not going to affect their network or their doctors. Um, we can find a way to, uh, to find the right health plan for both of them, even if they are going to the same network of doctors. Yeah, and that can be, I think, uh, stressful for people when they come in, especially if they're entering this for the first time. They're at that age where they've uh, been with a private plan for a while. Maybe they have no, had no plans uh, at, uh, yeah. for the last few years because they, we haven't obviously, uh, this is just the start of the covered <laughs> California. So yeah. there are people out there who are right, and you speak of donut hole, but you know, they, they've um, retired maybe, yeah. but they're at that point, they are just now qualifying for the Medicare plans out there. And it's absolutely overwhelming. It is, and, and I think what, um, what we like to do is, for a lot of people nowadays, they're usually keeping their employer uh, coverage, mm -hmm. and I think they're confused whether they should stay on that yeah. or go on a Medicare plan. Um, what's nice is that we do uh, work with not only the Medicare Advantage HMO plans, we do work with the PPO plans and Medicare Supplement plans, and when we sit down with someone, we look at what their current coverage is, if it's an employer plan, and compare it to joining either a Medicare Advantage or a Medicare Supplement or a PPO plan, and really narrow down if that's gonna even be a good option for them. Uh, but mostly education, I think, is key to make sure that they're well-informed about the decisions that they're making. Do you find, Carolyn, that when you uh, talk to people about this, that their needs are, are vastly different? not only the medications they need, but if somebody's not on a lot of medications yet, they may want that gym membership. Mm -hmm. They may say, you know what, um, I have a lot of dental work coming up. Are there any plans that include dental work? Dental insurance can be quite expensive if you want the really great coverage. So having a plan that may have that or some sort of it could be a big benefit for someone. Absolutely. Um, right now, I'm currently contracted with 12 different carriers. And the only reason why there are 12 different carriers is because people's needs are vastly different. Um, somebody may really be um, you know, heavily looking at the hospital co-pays, the outpatient mm -hmm. services, uh, physical therapy. Those can uh, range greatly. Mm -hmm. While another person, eh, they're not too concerned about um, some of the minor co-pays they could run into. but. Do they have the bells and whistles that I want? Do they have the dental? Do they have the hearing aid benefit or the, the yeah. vision? I mean, it has to balance out. So um, each person could uh, go from one plan to another and, and really tell us which one would work specifically for them. Right, and many of these plans have um, a zero out of pocket because it's, it's all included, especially in Orange County here. Often the plans here are better than uh, anywhere else in the country. There's really some phenomenal plans from all different ranges. Even there's some uh, nonprofits out there, such as uh, SCAN, I think, is one of them. Scan, yeah. So uh, the range is just absolutely incredible. I mean, it really is. It's daunting, but uh, 
people should feel lucky to be living in Orange County when they're yeah. getting into these That's Medicare true. plans. That's true. Are there um, any uh, special uh, reservations, or I should say, people that need to call to make an appointment to come to see you? Are you nearby? Uh, I, I have your number here. I have your uh, website address, but I'm not sure where you're located. Uh, we have offices uh, in several locations in okay. Southern and Northern California. So even if they have a relative oh, who lives in um, North Orange County or LA County, we do have agents uh, all around Southern California who are very well versed in the plans of that area because they will be county to county. Right. Um, we have um, several agents in South Orange County, um, Edgar and I. Um, work with uh, Laguna Woods, San Juan Capistrano, Laguna Hills. Um, I work all the way up into Fountain Valley. So uh, we, we will have somebody who uh, can help them. Yeah, and it does differ from county to county, even North County versus South County. It's amazing how these plans, you would think that, well, here's the Medicare plans, they would, they would be for all of California or whatever, yeah. and it's not. So having you folks here to help out and uh, wade through the waters <laughs> is uh, very yes. important. Their uh, number is 877-651-7526, and you can go online, hrbcinsurance.com, and find out all the information you need, and then set up an appointment with either Carolyn or Edgar. And uh, I encourage you to do so. If you're looking at these Medicare options out there, the, the dozens and dozens and dozens, you need someone who can really advise you and help you out with this. Thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you. you so nice much. to meet you both. You too. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. This is a Medicare Special Bulletin. Medicare annual enrollment period begins October 15th and ends December 7th. It is the only time that most people can make changes to their health and drug coverage. HRBC Insurance can help you compare Medicare health plans and choose the one that best meets your needs. Medicare annual enrollment period is the time to review, compare, and enroll. Call HRBC Insurance today.